Welcome back. This is the Side B Match 2 of the Battle Infinite Tournament. We are almost done with the first tournament here, folks, as Eric King, one half of Blackout 2.0, makes his way towards the ring. The Black Prince, the second coming, you can call him a lot of things, but Eric King is simply one of the most gifted athletes in Battle Pro. There is a bright future for this man. Well, a lot of people, uh, I'm just have to tell you right now, he is a big fan of Blackout. If it's not, if it's not obvious enough, and he's told me that the song they come out to, the Second Coming. It basically tells about Blackout 2.0. This is like their anthem. And Eric King is hyped for this match here. And another man who is hyped is the teen dream, Brent Haskins. Brent Haskins, a Tennessee native. This man has basically been trained in wrestling, I mean, he has wrestling in his soul. Trained by Tully Blanchard, mentored by Barry Window. You can t you can just say that this kid has wrestling in his soul. And I say kid because Brent Haskins is only 17 years old. That's right, folks. Brent Haskins is only 17 years old, and he calls himself the Teen Dream, Mr. Teen Excitement. He. He basically says he speaks for the generation of teenagers and he's going to be the first teenage champion of Battle Pro. He basically said this, but he has he has a big he's got a he's got a, some big shoes to feel on, I'll tell you right now. This is Jam Pack Crowd ready. They are ready for this last and final match for the Battle Infinite Tournament. And when this is done, folks, um, or the bell rings right there. When this is done, we will jump right into the first couple of matches for the World Heavyweight Tournament. And after that, we will have the Infinite Championship Scramble match. As, oh, Eric King, nice uh, takedown there. <clears throat> Showing some great wrestling ability, Eric King. Eric King, usually a high flyer, but showing that he can also be technical oh and he's landing those punches on Brent Haskins oh Haskins reversal and atomic drop what a win this would be for Brent Haskins this would be a big win for him and he would be one step closer to being the first teenage champion as he likes to put it and uh, King's going for something King oh King barely got that cross, that suicide dive outside, that cross body missed completely. And now King with a reversal. And, and now, folks, I mean, and now, oh, King throws him into the guardrail. Oh, what a headbutt. Very nice headbutt. And now, King. King again! Oh! King. Second time was not the charm there, and Brent Haskins takes advantage with a nice elbow drop. And now, reversal by Eric King, the Black Prince, crashed and burned twice. Another thing about Eric King I think is a disadvantage is that he likes to take too many risks. And now, Haskins, oh man, suplexes him back in the ring, and an elbow drop to that point of the head. Now, King back, oh kick to the gut and oh another atomic drop by Brent Haskins kick in the midsection and oh very nice elbow a grounded elbow strike by Brent Haskins Eric King beats him to the punch reversal by Brent Haskins throws him in the turnbuckle and a nice drop kick folks this is a very fast paced matchup here as Brent Haskins is taking full control. But as soon as I say that, Eric King 
with a nice reversal. Irish whip into the ropes. Oh, and a nice crossbody block. And then, oh man, soccer ball kick to the back of Brent Haskins. Eric King, I mean, this match is basically showing the ex Wait a minute, whoa, look at that! Haskins, whoa! You, you usually never see Brent Haskins go for a Hunakarana. That was an interesting move. And a nice knee drop. Eric King in full control. I guess the experience is showing here. Oh, whoa, 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 oh, oh, my, oh, my God. Brent Haskins showing the strength. Just powerbomb King. Almost folded him in half. Oh, and a nice elbow strike. And now punching away. Wait, look at this. Now laying in the punches from the top, but Haskins reverses it. Throws him down. King, Iris whip again. Nice chop there. Was trying to go for something, but Haskins reverses it. Throws him back, and wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh! Very nice. Oh, my God. What a nice bulldog. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here it is. Black Stomp. Just quick. He hits it. The Black Stomp. One, two, and three. Eric King advances. He advances to the Infinite Championship Scramble match. Sorry, Brett Haskins. Maybe next time. This right here was the beginning of the end. Brent Haskins got caught with those two boots. And then King drops him with the bull leg, the leg drop bulldog. Goes up. And then he hits the black stomp. The black stomp. At 450 double foot stomp. One, two, and three. The second coming. The black prince. Eric King makes a huge, a huge mark in this match. Would it be Eric King who could be the infinite champion? But now, folks, the, it looks like this. It's going to be Super Kenshi, Mark Butcher, Gizarmo, Eric King, and Ethan Locke. That is what the standings look like now. My God, folks, that championship scramble match is going to be something else. But right now, we have to get set for the world heavyweight, <clears throat> the world heavyweight tournament. The first matchup right now is going to be Cody Barnett versus Scott Sapp, which is sure to be a very, very good match. But folks, um, like I said. This has been one hell of a night. I mean, it's been really good. Um, I'm just pumped. This is the crowning, and I am loud in styles. And, man, I just can't even talk right now. As And soon as I mess up, <laughs> here is Scott Sapp. Scott Sapp, this is side A, match one of... The crowning of the World Heavyweight Tournament. This is going to be a good match. As Scott Sapp makes his way towards the ring. Scott Sapp. A, uh, has, has some, some parts of Switzerland in him. He has some Swiss in him. American native. Father was Swiss. Mother was American. So he does have those European tendencies, if you know what I mean. Scott Sapp, he is a powerhouse. He's technical. He has that European mat style wrestling down. But he's also very, very powerful. But the man he's facing, the man he's going to face, Cody Barnett, he's no pushover. Cody Barnett, the uh, second youngest 
of the uh, Barnett family. His older brother is Jeremy. His younger brother, Brian, who's also in the tournament. All three of the Barnetts are in this tournament, surprisingly enough. As uh, Cody Barnett makes his way towards the ring, this crowd showing their respect to Cody. Cody, this is the this could be a big night for Cody. Cody Barnett gets the opportunity to be the first Battle World Heavyweight Champion if he can beat Scott Sapp and make and fill in the slot for the champ for the heavyweight championship scramble match. This is gonna be a really good match. I'm gonna tell you right now, folks. This is gonna be something. Cody Barnett. He looks positively pumped for this match. Sap is positively pumped for this match. This crowd's pumped. Well, folks, do not turn away. We will be right back with the matchup of Cody Barnett and Scott Sap.